Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Tournament Battles Evo cards that are coming out today here in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel I put every single day. And I would really appreciate it if you all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at these new Evo cards. So there's nine new Evo cards from Friday's in-season tournament games. These are the nine teams that won. And none of the teams that one had won uh, or had played or won on the uh, previous week's set of in-season tournament games. So all of these Evos are just to Sapphire. On Tuesday, we will likely see our first Sapphire to Ruby Evos for teams winning their second game in the in-season tournament. And uh, there's some good ones that could be coming on Tuesday or because of Tuesday's games as well coming on Wednesday or Thursday. Not totally sure when those updates will be. But um, these nine right here have the potential, some of them anyway, to be really, really good cards. Some of these names are cards I'm excited about. Let's start off with the lowest, lowest one, which is Tobias Harris. The thing about Tobias Tobias Harris is even though right now he's not that great of a card you look at his evo 6 7 6 11 wingspan uh 79 speed 86 shot three is really really good 84 driving layup isn't too great but um 75 driving duck is okay he does get significant defensive stat boosts plus 20 interior plus 21 interior perimeter uh plus 30 steel that's really really significant plus nine lateral quickness as well obviously we'll need more help defensively shooting wise should be great gold blinders catch claim our corner specialist silver green machine guard up limitless range all added on him or upgraded as of right now get silver handles for days as well definitely has an evo making him better there's no doubt about it but ball handling isn't high enough time burst as of yet defensively he's still a liability and he's not super fast but offensively should be able to shoot the crap out of the ball uh, very very good fast release which is something that i'm a big fan of i honestly think this tobias harris card could become pretty good right now he's not great i will not be doing gameplay on this card today but i will say he is going to be an absolute beast at the small forward position if you were to get up to a diamond uh he could be one of the best offensive small forwards in the game because his offensive stats are going to probably start to look pretty good uh and his i know his release is really really good so if he gets more defense and stuff and he plays for a great team the sixes have been awesome to start the year this card gets to an amethyst or diamond he'll be interesting uh derek white is one of the ones that i've been the most excited about been harping on how good he'll be six four with a six seven wingspan though and his badge boosts are pretty significant he gets gold acrobat fearless giant slayer pro touch and slithery um silver bailout break starter floor general killer combos um i don't know if mismatch is still in the game but unpluckable ankle breaker handles for days hyperdrive still has bronze speed booster which he already had defensive badges are the same but now gets gold or silver interceptor is the only boost there doesn't quite get the defensive stat boost at this point he doesn't need him on the defense on the perimeter on the interior wouldn't hurt maybe his next evil will give him that fingers crossed uh and then shooting badge wise it does not get any boost as of yet but he did get a plus two three plus two mid range plus 14 driving layup so some stat boosts there not a ton this card was already very impressive statistically for an emerald so i'm not shocked he didn't get huge stat boosts i think when this card gets a couple more evos gets up to ruby and with this diamond you're going to start to see some really significant evos on this card he's already looking better though i like the increase in playmaking badges that helps out a lot for sure because he's already a really good defensive point guard gives him some more finishing as well and he can dunk the ball which is nice uh another another upgrade on this card give him some shooting badges maybe upgrade the dunking a little bit he's going to become absolutely incredible so i'm excited about that card mark williams is an inside this is not one of the ones i'm super excited about but the stat boosts unfortunately don't boost his speed i'd really like to see a speed boost here uh he does get a mid-range boost but his three ball is still super low mid-range still isn't super high athletically he's pretty good defensively he's pretty good he's just very very slow and a slow inside center isn't really what i'm looking for at this point does get silver anchor post lockdown or workhorse with this uh badge update though as well as silver drop step precision dunker post riser bronze uh bulldozer so he gets some pretty decent badges gold rat masher and rise up as well he does get some decent interior boost but he's not good enough as an inside big yet to be worth considering and honestly playing for the hornets i don't think he'll get enough evos to where he'll really be worth considering but maybe if he gets one or two more gets to ruby or amethyst and turns into a pretty decent inside card who knows uh right now though that's not a card i'm super interested in tht is 6-4 but a 7-1 wingspan so he has long arms at the shooting guard position but he doesn't have great height does get significant finishing badge boosts as well as silver handles for his hyperdrive killer combos and floor general defensively though he's still very mediocre he's got good speed good ball handling and he's a capable dunker but he's not an elite shooter either he's only 6 fourths shooting guard position movement doesn't look great i don't think tht's release is generally that good either this is another card who's just not that exciting and also the jazz are not that great of a team so 
the other guy who I don't really care that much, uh, honestly, uh, how well his team does in the in-season tournament. I'm not super excited about his Evo card. And honestly, Malik Monk is another one of those guys. 6'3", six, 6'5", six, wingspan. That's really small at the shooting guard position. Can't play point guard. Shooting badges are great, um, but 86 speed and excel. That's nice. Ball handle is high enough to time burst now that he got a boost on that. That's a W. Uh, and then an 87 shot, 3, 80 driving dunk. Offensively, he's fine. Defensively, he's horrible. Uh, does have a couple playmaking badges. Blow by handles for days. Uh, Killer Crab was hyperdrive on silver and bronze. Speed booster is nice. He can dunk the ball okay, but if his release is like it was last year, which it probably is, it's not that great of a release. A little bit more baited. Uh, and that takes away the shooting ability, but he's already very undersized on the defensive end at shooting guard. Very, very small. Not a card that I'm super excited about overall. Card that I am excited about is Jared Vanderbilt. 6'8", 6 6'11", 6 wingspan. Plays for another good team in the Lakers. Uh, and then boost-wise, that's a lot of badges. A lot of badges. Gold Acrobat, Fast Twitch, Fearless Finisher, Precision Dunker, Posterizer, Slithery, Silver Pro Touch, Silver Blow By, Vice Grip, uh, Bronze Handles for Days, Hyper Touch, Killer Combos, and then Gold Post Lockdown, Silver Challenger. Pretty significant boosts there. Stat-wise, it's not insane, but it's all around, and it's pretty good. Plus 5 speed, plus 6 mid-range, plus 6 free throw, plus 10 driving layup, plus 10 driving dunk. Uh, plus two interior, plus seven lateral, plus 15 steel, plus 14 ball handle. Get that up a little bit higher. He'll be able to time burst with his shoe. Uh, we'll see if he gets that on his next Evo. Plus 15 fat pass act is nice. Uh, plus nine speed ball is nice. A little bit boost to rebounding. Just all around really solid boosts for a card who was already very solid as an emerald at the power forward position. This is another card who I'm really excited about to see where his Evos could take this card in a couple weeks if he, if the Lakers continue to do well in the in-season tournament. They won their first game. They got three more we'll see how many of those they win hopefully they win two or three of them and we get jared vanderbilt as an amethyst or a diamond josh green has a very bad release so this card is not a card that i'm excited about i wanted to be excited about him uh because when you look at the card all the way around he's a six seven shooting guard he's athletic he can handle the ball with a shoe he can get a now a ball handle rating high enough to timing burst defensively he's not horrible uh got some defensive batters as well silver chase down interceptor challenger off ball pass bronze clamps and pick dodger uh gold catch and corner specialist silver precision dunker post driver so three gold acro fast twitch fearless finisher a lot of good badges that were boosted onto this card and added onto him he still doesn't have any playmaking badges though which is annoying and then this release just isn't good i don't know why it doesn't look like he's how he shoots in real life you would think with pro play he would have a smoother better jump shot because he his jumper just doesn't look like it looks like in real life right now mj dribble style too there is so much to like about the sapphire josh green card but unfortunately it's pretty much ruined because of the jump shot and that is a real disappointment to me Second to last card today is Amon Thompson. The Rockets have been shockingly good. This is a card that could be actually kind of intriguing. Um, 20 assists for him, and you get a... I mean, you get a bunch of badge boosts. Stat-wise, it's a bunch of defensive boosts. Plus 24 interior, plus 19 block is significant, though. Gets up to a 70 interior, 72 block. Love to see that. 84 perimeter, 89 lateral quickness as well. Defensively, he's not bad. Bronze clamps, glove. Could use some more defensive badges. He's got silver, speed booster, and bronze uh, blow by as well. Uh, but outside of that, no shooting, playmaking, and defensive badges besides those very few. Uh, does get a three-point boost. He gets up from 55 to a 69. That's a big boost, plus 14 there. Uh, honestly, some pretty big statistical boosts on Amon Thompson. He needs more badges as a whole, but the Rockets have been shockingly good so far in the in-season tournament, and we'll have to see if they are in general, not just in the in-season tournament. They've been shockingly good so far this season. There's a chance they win a couple more games, kind of surprise some people, and uh, Amon Thompson gets up to like an amethyst, and he, I mean, already 95 speed at 6'7", at shooting guard, elite level slasher, now becoming a decent defender. This is an intriguing card. His ball handle rating is high enough to time burst as well, which is really good with that 95 speed. Uh, this is a card that I might consider trying out. He looks in intriguing and then finally you got Nas Reed at the center position last card in today's video he's only 6 9 7 3 wingspan though he could play center or now he could play power forward a lot better as well because he got a plus 17 speed plus 14 excel those are huge statistical boosts plus 10 speed ball is nice really good offensive rebound boost as well we will take that he's still got the same defensive badges but some good gold ones there no playmaking but silver catch and shoot corner specialist gold uh bulldozer fearless finisher precision dunker and post as well as silver fast twitch and post spin significant badge boosts in the finishing and shooting areas for him as well as obviously the huge speed excel steel ball boost a little bit of a dunking boost good rebounding boost and a little bit of a shooting boost as well his release is solid enough i really like this card as an emerald i think he's got a lot of potential would love to see more defensive boosts on this card than just the rebounding and i hope he gets more defense the timberwolves are another team that's been really really good this year and this is another card with a lot of evo potential so uh definitely going to keep an eye 
Brown, Nas Reed, Amon Thompson, Vando, uh, Derek White, and probably Tobias Harris would be the main five from today's drop that I'm intrigued by. Probably will only do gameplay with Vanderbilt, Derek White, and maybe Nas Reed, maybe Amon Thompson as well. But uh, it's definitely an interesting drop, and these cards, while they're only Sapphires right now, they're going to continue to get better, and for 13,860 MT, we're going to start to get some of the best value cards in the entire game from these Evos, which is something that I'm honestly a big fan of, and I think this promo as a whole is a real success, so got to give 2K some credit, but that is good for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.